Yeah. So yeah, let's let's introduce ourselves. I'm I'm Nikita Kuselev. Uh, I'm a solution architect from Akiyoti. Yeah. And I'm Daniel Hong. I'm a developer advocate at Akiyoti. Okay. Uh, initially, it's supposed to be a 40 minutes talk with uh, like demo, Q and A, and detailed explanation of each tool. But we only have 10 minutes. We only have 10 minutes. Uh, so, okay, uh, not to worry, we just squish uh, all these 15 slides into one. Yeah. So here it is. We did. I actually, uh, we strategically had Nikita talking too, because he talks faster than me. So, yeah. let's hop into it. So, the conclusion of our talk is use external secrets operator, and don't forget about password passwordless authentication. It is important. This solution covers, like, all, most of the use cases. It's uh, reliable, fancy, secure. So this is our talk. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. uh, like, subscribe, and follow Daniel on his Twitter. Wait, wait, Nikita. It, it feels kind of wrong to just hop to a conclusion without you know, talking about all the potential solutions that we could use for secrets managers. Mm -hmm. And we still have quite a, few, a lot of time okay, left. Let's, so let's, uh, yeah. I think we should explain it a little bit. OK, I mean, let's, let's, let's go fast. Past, uh, a space. So, first solution sealed secrets. Uh, uh, two parts. Uh, first part is uh, cube seal common tool. You encrypt your secrets with uh, common tool. And second part is uh, sealed secret controller. You decrypt uh, stuff with a sealed secret controller. That's that's basically it. That's not rocket science. You encrypt there, decrypt, decrypt, decrypt here. Uh, uh, so uh, it uses uh, custom resources. So you need to install CRDs in your cluster. And uh, yeah, if we had time, we could talk about uh, the chicken egg problem uh, and why you need a password to access your other passwords and where to keep the first password. We also could talk about uh, decryption key uh, leak. So if, you, if your key some, some, somehow is compromised, basically, all your secrets to, uh, compromised too, uh, and you wouldn't have known about, about this. So I yeah, mean, but we don't have that much time. So I think a, a good conclusion for sealed secrets is that it's a great tool for quick starts or POCs. However, if you're considering it for like enterprise and production use cases, it might not scale as well. Okay, let's go next tool. Next tool is uh, Argus Yvon plugin. Uh, is uh, different. Uh, it. Uh, Instead of uh, encrypting your secrets, it needs, it requires some external uh, secret storage. And uh, initially it was HashiCorp Vault, but later they added support for other cloud providers. Uh, so everything happens in Argo CD namespace. Uh, uh, when Argo CD renders your manifest, this plugin replaces some placeholders uh, uh, in your files with, uh, with uh, secret values. And like arguably, it's not real GitOps because what you have in Git and what you have in your environment is is not the same. And also, it works only with Argo CD. If you try kubectl and apply it, it wouldn't work. Uh, the same way. Uh, yeah. So, what's a what's a flaw with this? Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. Uh, like it's it's not maybe it's not a bug. It's a feature. Your application one can easy uh, easily get application two secrets. Uh, so yeah, the, 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 if you if you trust all your developers, you can use it. But uh, I don't know if. Oh. Yeah. So I think a good conclusion is that you know it supports a lot of you know secrets managers. However, uh, it has that flaw. You can't really scope that down to specific pieces. So uh, it's, in our opinion, not a great choice for enterprise use cases unless you can trust all of your developers. Which do we do we do that? Okay. Let's go on next. So SOPs, uh, secret operations, it's kind of a combination of two previous tools. You encrypt secrets with a common line tool, and you decrypt secrets with uh, Argo CD plugin. So it has uh, weaknesses uh, from both previous tools. It's kind of solve the chicken egg problem uh, with key store. Uh, so, uh, it, and key stores are different from secrets managers, so let's let's not confuse them with each other. Yeah, here. key store is not the same as secret manager, uh, unless it's Azure. In Azure, it's the same, but in other providers, it's not the same. Uh, 
whatever. Uh, so it has the s so many uh, issues. Actually, we don't have time to discuss everything. Same uh, same issue with application one uh, accessing application two secrets. Uh, issue with uh, uh, leaked keys. Uh, so all your uh, secrets are compromised. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's, let's yeah, yeah, we can move past that. We don't have time for that. Yeah. But uh, the gist here is that it's uh, it's still quite a popular tool because uh, for legacy reasons, typically, like a lot of people are just still stuck using key stores. Secrets managers are a lot more flexible, and it's more the path towards the future. So that's you know, it's also a lot of use cases where it's just hard to justify like moving to a new tool. Okay, let's go next. So next is uh, Vault Agent Injector. So it doesn't use any of that Kubernetes fancy stuff. It's just good old vault agent uh, process injected in each of your pod. Uh, and if you know, if you're familiar with vault agent, you know that it connects to vault server and updates uh, your files in the local file system. So does that mean if you have a thousand pods, you would need a thousand additional processes running and making connections? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, if you have thousand pods and thousand connections, your your server actually might not like it. And if your server is down, uh, basically all your pods cannot start. So it's one of the. If we had time, if we had time, we could uh, talk about that particular very specific use case when where it actually makes sense uh, to use this solution. But yeah, I think the the conclusion here is. You know, you might run into a lot of scalability issues based on how this method works. And typically, uh, if you're considering using this, you're probably already using Vault. And if you're not, you're probably already considering other solutions to begin with. Okay, secret storage CSI. Uh, I forgot what CSI stands for. It's Container Storage Interface, right? That's right. Uh, okay. Uh, so it's a special type of a driver. Uh, it mounts. Uh, it, it, it runs on pod creation. So when your pod is created, this driver mounts uh, files in, into your pod. And optionally, it can create a secret, Kubernetes secret, but it's, 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 a, it's a storage driver. So uh, it, it only works with storage. So we, 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 uh, it doesn't seem to have that problem when application one can access application two secrets because it uses secret provider class and you can specify uh, different secret provider classes. Uh, if, if we had time, we could talk about why it's a daemon set and unlike all other uh, solutions, but I mean, we don't have time, right? Yeah, I, th yeah. I think it's a valid solution if you don't want to use Kubernetes secrets and you just want to mount files directly to your file system. Oh, okay, and last but not least, external secrets operator. Uh, okay, what do we have about external secrets? It doesn't seem to have all these uh, issues from other tools that we didn't have time to talk about. Uh, it, 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 it uses custom resources, just sealed, like sealed secrets. But in this custom resources, you keep coordinates of your secrets, and it can use different secret stores. So it doesn't have this application one, accessing application two secrets. You can create different uh, account for every application and different uh, roles. I mean, if we had time, we can we can talk about uh, templating uh, the sec your secrets. Uh, we could talk about uh, updating your secrets. Uh, and why sometimes you need to uh, restart your port and sometimes it, it, it's not required. It's very easy to set the tools yeah, as well, right? Yeah, uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's really comprehens comprehensible and easy to set up. I set up it like, literally in seconds. Uh, yeah, I think in conclusion, this is, you know, based on our research, it's an easy way to get started. It's easy to get up and started. And then uh, it also scales very well, so it's very great for enterprise use cases. So. The conclusion stays the same. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. Uh, check out our booth, uh, like Acuity booth, uh, down on the first floor, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Well, you can check out our booth. We're going to be at KubeCon uh, on the main conference days as well. And you can bother Nikita for any uh, specific secrets questions. Right. Yeah. I think
Give us it. All right. Thank you. Thank you.